What is going on everyone? My name is Lionclaw and welcome to the first video on this channel. Today, we're going to have a look at a 2x1 bunker that I've been designing. This is called the Bulldog. The 2x1 honeycomb bunker with maximum storage. So as we go into the bunker, we're greeted by a shotgun trap. We've got a viewing area to look for door campers. We come down, we've got our furnaces. We're greeted by another shotgun trap. And into the core, a standard two by one core. Now this is up to you, you can design it how you like, but this is how I like to lay things out. As you can see, the upkeep for this base is very, very low. And these 700 metal frags, 1300 stone. So you're probably asking, how do you seal the bunker? That is very, very simple. It's a very simple design for a bunker. All you need is metal frags and wood. Place a half wall in twig. Place a floor triangle. Upgrade to sheet metal. So when someone comes to raid, they'll imagine it's just a standard two by one and go through doors, but then they'll see this. But let's get into how you build this base. So first, start by building a simple 2 by one making sure that the airlock is on the right-hand side. Once that's done, upgrade to stone. Now we're going to go ahead and place a shelf from around the back. Foundation, half wall, floor triangle. Go back inside the base and place your shelf. Upgrade this to stone and go and demolish the twig on the outside. Add your doors. If you have a garage door, make sure you slap that on. TC goes in the left hand corner, making sure that's furthest to the back as possible. That is your standard 2 by one done. You can furnish it how you like. I will show you the box placement. Because this is the easiest way to do it in Rust. With maximum storage. One box goes there. Another goes there. Same on the bottom shelf. I like to place two small boxes here. One in the left, one in the middle, and a campfire to cook any food on the right hand side. You can also, if you want, place a small box up here. Now we can place our workbench. Doesn't matter if it's tier one or tier two. A locker and two sleeping bags. What I also like to do is cover the roof in mats, in rugs. This makes the base look a little bit fancy, but it is a paid skin. So you won't be able to have this straight off the bat. You'll want a bare rug top to get your maximum comfort. And that is the basic start I've done. You don't have to add all these things right away. So let's add the furnaces. Now I put the furnaces in the part of the honeycomb. What you want to do is you want to upgrade this to stone or sheet metal, depending on what you've got. Bear in mind that once you place this window, you won't be able to upgrade the foundation or the ceiling. Place the furnace at the back. One on the left. And one on the right. Once that's done, place the foundation, upgrade the stone. And place a window. If you've got reinforced glass windows, use these. Next, we want to go ahead and create our bunker. We want one triangle foundation, one raised, and another raised. Upgrade these to stone. Now, to create our bunker, we need to place a half wall in twig and a normal wall in stone. Remove the twig. Upgrade that to stone. Now, this is optional. But what I've done in this base build is I put a ladder hatch in. This is to stop anyone from getting to your loot room. 
if they start going deep. Now let's start with a honeycomb. Standard 2x1 honeycomb. Making sure there's no soft sides. We also want to add a pancake layer. This will stop top-down raiding, which is one of the most effective ways of raiding in Rust. I also like to upgrade this to sheet metal, so that when if a top-down raid comes, it won't be able to enter both parts and splash damage both parts of the ceiling. Close this up. Now we want to make our loot room. Place a half wall, another half wall. Ceilings on the top. Grade this to stone. Start to place our boxes. One goes here. Another one goes there. And two small boxes on the outside. Once that's done, we can start to work on our entrance. We want one window here, another here, another here. Two doorways. Cover it in floor triangles. No great stone. If you've got reinforced glass windows, use them. If not, use metal or wood. Put your doors on. I like to use the industrial door skin so I can see through the window. You can also use shop fronts when designing this. But just bear in mind, if you lose a kit in here, or you leave your furnaces open and you haven't sealed the bunker, people will be able to trade from the outside to a teammate. Now for the final part of the base, we're going to add an extra two honeycombs. These are the weakest, weakest part of the base. And that is the basic design done. So that is it, a two by one bunker. And to be honest, one of the smallest bunkers I've ever used in Rust. This base is brilliant for solo and duos. And it'll take 20 rockets when upgraded or to armored. So if you're not into big bases, and you just wanna hop on with a friend, this is a great base idea. It offers a lot of raid protection. So that is it, the Bulldog. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. I'll be posting a lot of videos on this channel very, very soon. Let me know what different bases you want me to build. Give me a few ideas so I can uh, design some stuff for you guys. But well, that is all we've got time for for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.